Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will consider uh, to determine whether the following systems represented by input output relations are time invariant and invertible. Here, let me consider the second numerical which states that y, is, y of t is equal to integration minus infinity to t x of tau d tau. The very first numerical we considered in the previous video lecture. In this video lecture, we will consider the second one. Now, the task is to determine is this system time invariant or not. So, let me check the system for the property of time invariance. The property says that a shift in the input must lead to an identical time shift in the output. So, let me consider the first half of the statement that is shift in the input. In this numerical, the input is x of tau. Shift in the input is nothing but x of tau minus t naught. So this is the system, uh, this is the input. Such an input, I would give it to a system of operator h so that I would get the output y1 of t. So what is the output going to be? That depends on the nature of the system. What is the nature of the system? Whatever input you feed in, it takes the integration of that and gets us the output. In this case, it takes the integration of minus infinity to t of the input. Input is x of tau minus t naught. Fine, a d tau. So this is y1 of t. Before I considering uh, next half of the statement, I can simplify this further. So let me do that. So what I do here is I'll put m, let me, uh, uh, not m, uh, tau minus t naught tau minus t naught as m. So let me put tau minus t naught is equal to m. Uh, similarly, d tau is going to be dm. Let me take the differentiation. t naught is a constant. Uh, differentiation of that is going to be 0. d tau is equal to dm. And what about the limits? Here the limit, earlier limit was tau. Now it is being replaced with m. So to get the limits, so let me write, to get the limits, Yes, let me check that y1 of t is equal to integration. Now the new limit is m is equal to earlier limit was tau. So tau is equal to minus infinity is the lower limit. In this expression, put tau is equal to minus infinity. What I am going to get? Minus infinity minus t naught is equal to m. Still, m is equal to minus infinity because if you add something or if you subtract something from minus infinity, it is still going to be minus infinity. m is equal to minus infinity. What is the upper limit? Tau was the variable which is equal to t. So, in this expression, let me put tau is equal to t so that I am going to get t minus t naught is equal to m. Therefore, the upper limit m is equal to t minus t naught. So inside I have x of tau minus t naught. It has been replaced with m. d tau is nothing but dm. So this I would call this as expression number 1. To consider the second half of the statement, I would write consider consider a shift in the output. What is shift in the output? y of t minus t naught. How do I get this? To get this expression of this, I already have the expression for y of t. How do I get y of t minus t naught? Replace every t with t minus t naught. So where is t in this uh, expression? It is there at the upper limit. t is the upper limit that is being replaced with t minus t naught. Rest all will remain same as they do not have any t term over there. Therefore, that is equal to integration integration minus infinity upper limit was t now that is being replaced with t minus t naught inside we have x of tau d tau so this i would call it as equation number two to make the system time invariant equation one must be equal to equation two can you compare as equation number one is equal to equation number two i would say that the given system is <coughs> sorry time invariant is that fine so don't compare m with tau because tau and m are uh, dummy variables in this expression i can replace tau with m and i would get back this equation so ultimately both the equations are same therefore the answer is the given system is time invariant is this fine the next thing is to check this for 
invertibility so let me write the same thing I need to check is this system invertible or not how do I test that first I have the input x of t such a input I would give to a system of operator h so that I would get the output y of t and what is the nature of the system the nature of the system is that it takes the integration whatever input you feed in it takes the integration of that gets you the output next task is for such an output can you add another system which is inverse inverse of h so that you can get back the original input is this possible yes and then what is the inverse system inverse system is nothing but the differentiation integration and differentiation both would get cancel each other so that I can get back the original input therefore the answer is the given system is invertible is this fine the task was to test for time invariance the answer is the given system is time invariant and to test this also for invertibility and the answer is the given system is invertible thank you so much for watching if there are any doubts please let me know them into the comment section and I'm happy to answer those the doubts the third numerical I would consider that in the next video lecture till then thank you so much for watching